who doesn't love a drop top? What's up everybody, welcome to the video, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm at Mercedes-Benz of Caldwell in West Caldwell, New Jersey and we're taking a close look at the 2023 Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic Cabriolet. I've been trying to get my hands on a Mercedes for a long time, so I'm excited to finally do this video. There is nothing like riding in a convertible on a sunny summer day. Mercedes has always been known for its clean and elegant styling and for not doing anything radical. Well, that certainly continues on the E450, and doing that helps the cars to remain timeless throughout the years. This is the fifth generation E-Class, and it's been around since 2017 with a few tweaks here and there, and it's still a very good looking and modern looking car despite the 2024 model having a new design. Starting at the front end, the grille has this rounded trapezoid shape to it, and it has lots of chrome in it. All these little cutouts in the grille just look like they were, like, laser cut precise. It just gives it something. Don't really know how to describe it. The large three-pointed star sits right in the middle with a chrome bar running through it. The smaller, flat three-pointed star is right up on the hood. I kind of miss the days when Mercedes had the hood ornament on all their cars. Now I think you can only get that on the S-Class. Do you guys prefer the hood ornament or the giant three-pointed star on the grill? Let me know down in the comments. Dropping down, you have functional air vents in the corners that channel air around to the side of the car. There's a large intake opening at the bottom. The top edge of it is finished in flat black, and there's a strip of chrome running on the bottom. These are Mercedes LED intelligent headlights. They can adapt to your specific surroundings and driving conditions and can pivot when the car turns. The LED daytime running light at the top doubles as the turn signal. There's also a lot of fine detail inside the housing. Turning to the side, you have LED turn signal indicators on the mirrors. The typical Mercedes elegant styling means that there isn't a whole lot going on. There's a rounded body line at the top, and then just a subtle crease running along the bottom. The top of the door is lined with flat silver trim, which extends all the way around the convertible top. Taking a look at the wheels, this is an optional AMG 19-inch twin 5-spoke aluminum alloy wheel. This comes as part of the AMG line package, which is a $2,500 option. The tires this is riding on are 24540 Continental Pro Contact GX SSR all season tires, and it all sits on a lowered suspension with selective damping. Turning to the rear, things are also quite clean and simple back here. The LED taillights are elegantly shaped with multiple different lighting elements inside of it. Your trunk button along with the backup camera are hidden inside the Mercedes emblem. Dropping down, there's two integrated reflectors in the bumper, there's six parking sensors scattered across, there's an indentation at the side of the bumper that mimics a vent, the license plate is located down on the bumper, the bottom of the bumper is finished in flat black with a chrome trim piece going around the exhaust which is fully functional. Now since this is a convertible, understandably the cargo area isn't going to be that big. It's rated at 9.5 cubic feet of space with the top up, so there's gonna be less space with the top down, but in here you do get a first aid kit, cargo nets, and two electronic buttons to drop the back seat. And a quick shout out to this video sponsor, FitCam X. FitCam X is a custom hardwired 4K dash cam that is made for your specific car's interior with no exposed wires showing. And it connects to your phone via the FitCam X app. And they're offering all my viewers 10% off everything on their site using promo code OPTICAL. Link in the description. Taking a look under the hood here is a 3-liter turbocharged inline 6-cylinder engine, putting out 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, and that's paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission and 4-matic all-wheel drive. 0 to 60 takes 5.1 seconds. Fuel economy ratings are combined 24 miles per gallon. That's 22 in the city, 29 on the highway, and the capacity of the fuel tank is 17.4 gallons. If you're enjoying this review, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more weekly videos. Now, the way Mercedes does their options on their vehicles is a little bit untraditional. They don't create trim levels that have all the features kind of built into it. Of course, you have the 350 and the 450, but basically, you have a base price for it, and then all the individual options are additional add-ons. That means the amount of different configurations that you can make are endless. So that means no one video is going to be able to show you everything there is to be had. But we'll go over what we have here. On the dashboard is super soft black leather with white contrast stitching. Instead of regular wood trim, this has black piano lacquer trim with the flowing lines. On the door panel, more of the stitch leather at the very top. Also on the armrest, going up into the grab handle. All the switch gear and buttons have a metallic finish. At the top, there's more of that 
black piano lacquer trim. On here, you'll find the controls for the heated, ventilated, and massaging front seats, the seat adjustment controls, memory settings, and the metallic speaker grills for the Burmester sound system. One thing to note is that the lower panel around the door pocket is not finished in a soft material. Down below are illuminated Mercedes-Benz door sill plates along with Mercedes-Benz branded floor mats and aluminum foot pedals. The seats are lined in perforated black leather. They are heated, ventilated, and massaging. They have power adjustable thigh supports and three memory settings. There's also AC vents located inside the headrests. The seatbelt moves electronically towards you when you close the door, and it kind of reminds me of cars from the 80s and 90s that used to do that, so I think that's cool. The steering wheel has a flat bottom, and it's wrapped in both solid and perforated black leather. It's power tilting and telescoping. It's got a very round horn button with a giant Mercedes star in the middle. There are split spokes on each side, with control buttons for the gauge display and cruise control to the left, and controls for phone and audio, along with the center touchscreen to the right. Up above is a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster that can display information like the speedometer, phone, navigation, trip computer, audio, and more. Now in the center, you get another 12.3 inch screen. It has several ways to operate it. It can be controlled by the steering wheel, the touchpad below, and it's a touchscreen. It has a backup and 360 camera with several different viewing angles, AM FM Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth and USB audio, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now on the topic of functionality and phone integration, this is something I think is particularly noteworthy to mention. This is the first car that I've reviewed that has entirely phased out USB-A. There's only USB-C ports in here. And unfortunately, as a result, I was unprepared and was unable to use Apple CarPlay. The USB-C cable that came with my iPhone 13 is still sitting at home in the box because my existing chargers always worked for everything until now. The change is here, so make sure you have your USB-C cable. And it has a 13 speaker Burmester sound system, and I'm sorry I don't have an audio clip for this one. The climate controls are easy to use physical buttons, which I always appreciate. I've always been a fan of the way Mercedes does their air vents. They have an aeronautical design with a high-end metallic finish, and they actually have ambient lighting illuminating inside of them. And there's beautiful ambient lighting all around the cabin. It's tucked under the dashboard, and it's in the door panels at the top and bottom, and it can display multiple colors at the same time. Safety features include active distance assist, active steering assist, active lane change assist, active emergency stop assist, active speed limit assist, active brake assist with cross traffic function, evasive steering assist, active lane keeping assist, and active blind spot assist. Storage space in the E450 Cabriolet is decent. The inside of the center console isn't huge, but you do get two USB-C ports, and the glove box is on the large side. The convertible rooftop is a triple layered acoustic soft top and it can go up and down relatively quickly. Down in the middle, you'll find two cup holders, a wireless charger, a USB-C, and a 12 volt. Now in the back seat at six feet tall, this absolutely surprised me. I have the front seat adjusted where I would have it to drive and I am actually able to fit behind myself in a two door car without my legs touching the front seat. That is truly impressive. There's 34.1 inches of legroom, there's air vents down below, there's cup holders down below in the middle, and the side panels are finished with the same leather as the front. MSRP of this Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic Cabriolet with all its options is $90,735. Big thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Caldwell for letting me come out today to show you guys the E450. They're located on Bloomfield Avenue in West Caldwell, so stop by if you're in North Jersey or the New York City metro area. Let me know your thoughts on the E450 down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share with a friend and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let me know in the comments what vehicles you want to see on the channel next. And be sure to follow at Optical Automotive on TikTok and Instagram and check out the page on Facebook. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.